stock potato Mustang. I'm in the Fox body. I'm about to go run an errand. This is the first time I've driven the Fox since I changed the oil last week. Um, I think I'm gonna go do the errand and check to see if there's, you know, how the um, the oil pan drain plug gaskets are holding up. I haven't looked underneath the car yet since I uh, got back, but uh, we'll see how it's going here in a minute or in an hour. I don't know. I uh, I have some observations after uh, driving the car for about 20 minutes on the way to uh, do some things. So. Um, I'm sure I've mentioned this before, but the 410 gears are awesome. I, I love having the 410s in the Fox. I feel like they're probably not as popular as 373s, uh, or maybe I'm maybe that's just a false observation. But um, yeah, I think um, 410s are a blast. Maybe because I don't drive the car all the time. I don't know. Um, that also being said, I feel like. When you're driving above 50 miles an hour, it would be nice to have a six speed. So like, I don't know, maybe a Fox body with a six speed and four tens would be the way to go. I don't know, I don't know. Okay, back in the garage. We're gonna check and see if we can see any uh, drippage on the oil pan drain plug, drain plugs with the new, um, I can't put words together right now, with the new gaskets, hang on. It's probably be a little bit easier if I had the car back up on the ramps. Well, the front one looks good. I'm not seeing any oil leakage, but I can, you can't see it on the camera, but I can see, hang on. Ugh, little light. I can see on the rear drain plug that there is a bit of oil on the tip of the plug itself, leading me to believe. There's still a slow leak there, but it hasn't moved, so I don't know. I guess we could consider it a partial success um, if it's leaking not at all on the front drain plug and maybe less or slower on the rear drain plug. But, uh, yeah. Whoever, whoever made the suggestion, I'd have to go back through the comments. It appears to have been correct. Mostly correct thus far. Thank you. Well, I guess another thing I should do, since I drove like 45-ish minutes total, um, earlier today is I'll just check and see the oil level because I put five quarts in with the oil change a week ago and then I drove the car once like a short drive after that and then the second time was today for the longer drive so it'd be good to see because I definitely think that the um, the biggest oil losses that I've seen in the car have been on the times when I've taken the longest drives so which I feel like somebody's probably watching this going, well, uh, yeah, duh, obviously, dude. Oil level looks good. It's pretty much where it should be. Um, so it didn't seem like there was a lot of oil loss from the two drives since I changed the oil. So now I'm trying to remember. So I think, if I recall correctly, I used two different sizes on these fiber um washers gaskets gaskets why do i keep saying washer 
So I can't remember. So I'm also, I'm wondering if it's possible that if I use the same size, I think that I use the smallest possible one on the front drain plug and then the next smallest one on the rear drain plug. So I, I think that what I'll do is next time I'll get another one of these packets and make sure that I have, um, I guess I could get two of them since you can't, since they come with multiple sizes. I'll try to make sure I use the smallest felt fiber drain plug gasket on both, um, on both drain plugs and hopefully that will reduce the oil leak even more. Obviously that doesn't do anything to the wider issue of uh, probably the rear main seal, but if I can reduce oil leakage from the, uh, from the oil pan as well, I think that's definitely not a bad thing. So minimal progress is still progress.